All right, my lover. So, if you don't already know, I'm from Brazil, or as you may know, I should probably turn my phone on silent. That'd be that'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? Start again. All right, my lover. So, as you may already know, I'm from Brazil, or as you may know, Bristol, and I just thought I'd do a video today. Ex explaining some of the Bristolian sayings and what their meanings actually are. So I started my video with, or at my lover, which is basically a greeting, meaning how are you, or something along those lines. Now if you're proper Bristolian, you would say, or at my babber, which is the same principle, just more Bristolian. Now the next, I'm not sure if it's a Bristolian thing as such, but it happens in Bristol a lot, and this is cheers drive. And that's what you say when you get off the bus. You don't say thank you, bus driver man person, you just go, cheers drive. And I'm not sure if this is a Bristolian thing, but I'm told it is. I mean, let me know if you if you say this and you're not from Bristol, but as far as I know, cheers drive is, is a fairly Bristolian thing to say. Who knows? So next, I must talk about the need for Bristolians to add extra words on the end of sentences. And these words are normally mind or to. So let me just give you an example. So the first example using mind is, don't do that mind. Now, not sure what the need for mind on the end of it is. Just, we just throw it on there, just in case, you know? Just in case it's needed, it's not, but just in case it is, we put it there. The next is my personal favorite, and I myself do it all the time without noticing, and this is, where you to? Now, what was the need for the two on the end of that? You could have just said, where are you? But in Bristol, we like to go, where you to? Makes no sense. That's just what we do. Now the next one I have to mention is Gert Lush, meaning something along the lines of rather nice. And I'm not saying everyone in Bristol goes around saying it, but you do hear it. If you go to the right places, it is used. Yeah. So the next one I personally have never used and I've only heard it a couple of times, but this is Arca E. Yeah, let me just say that again. Arca E. Arca E. So did anyone work out what it means? probably guess you didn't, but what it means is something along the lines of look at him or or look at that person or sort of like Arca E. So sort of look at them or listen to them sort of thing. Yeah, not I don't get that one myself. So the next one is used a fair bit and I went through a stage of using it. Don't say much anymore, but the next one in the Bristolian language sort of thing is mint, which you can probably see it's quite a good one and you can probably find and work out what it's used for. So the term mint is like sort of, that's great isn't it, or look how great that is. It's just, oh that's mint isn't it, that's mint. Don't know why, but it it does work, can't, can't say it doesn't. So next I'm just going to fire out a couple of Bristolian sayings or pronunciations and what the meanings are. So quick fire, what they are and what they mean. So first off is proper, and I've said this already, but proper is sort of really, so you go, that's proper good, that's really good. Next is quite self-explanatory, is this afternoon, which if you say it fast enough, it sounds like what it's meant to be, but this afternoon, which is this afternoon. Next we got that's alright, meaning that's alright, pretty self-explanatory again. Just shortening it, being lazy, you know? So next is a proper Bristolian one, and this is daps. And daps are sort of gym shoes. Kind of something you would have worn in PE or physical education, whatever you want to call it, but they used to be called daps. Get your daps on. And I've, I've been told that's, that's an only Bristol thing. Nowhere else, just Bristol, daps. Instead of trainers, gym shoes, they're just daps. Now next is in a bit, which I don't think is necessarily that Bristolian, just meaning goodbye, which I think's used fairly universal, I think. Maybe it's not, but in a bit, meaning goodbye. So that's it for this week, guys. Just a short video about the Bristolian language. As you can probably hear, I'm not the most Bristolian person, but I just thought I'd do a quick video talking about some Bristolian sayings and what their meanings are. So if you've been watching this and you found it a little bit funny, give it a like. Maybe put a comment where you're from and what the accent's like there. If you have the accent, um, just let me know. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching. That's another one. Um, is that is that a Bristolian thing or is that just a thing? But thanks for watching. Like, comment, share. It all helps so much. And hopefully I should post another video in about a week's time. I should be able to get on track with doing videos once a week now because uni is slowly calming down, hopefully. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, it's been a pleasure as always. In a bit.